How to evaluate strain result after the simulation is solved? For a 3D problem, each material point over the body has a strain status, and it is recorded as a straight tensor. Each tensor has nine components, so if we hope to draw the contour plot for strain over a body, there will be nine contour plots, one plot for one strain component. Let's plot the normal strain in tension direction for the uniaxial tensile test problem. We can see that strain is almost uniform for the middle area of the specimen. However, for the area that geometry becomes not regular, the strain value has clear variation, which shows that strain is a local value. If we don't want to review the strain components one by one, we can calculate the equivalent strain from the strain tensor. Equivalent strain is a scalar and it is a straightforward quantity to report strain results. Although as an equivalent value, it does not represent the complete information of strain status. Here you can see that the equivalent strain is calculated based on the nine strain components. The parameter mu here is the Poisson's ratio of a material. In some places, equivalent strain may not have this term with Poisson's ratio. In this uniaxial tensile test problem, if you compare the distribution of equivalent strain and the one of normal strain in tension direction, you will see they are very similar. This is expected because deformation in tension direction is dominant in this tensile test, and the equivalent strain reflects such dominant strain status well. In mechanical design and analysis, it's common that an engineer needs to predict or recognize the failure of materials. Material failure is not necessarily always the breaking point or fracture point of the material. Depends on the design objectives, a material can be deemed as failure when yield point is reached or certain amount of distortion is reached. Strength can be an indication of the critical failure location and compared to a material allowable to predict strength factor of safety. For example, for the cell phone drop test, if the allowable equivalent strength for the material is 0.1, since the results show a larger equivalent strain, we can say that at the critical location, the material has failed.